Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Misty and today's video is all about these trays right here behind me and I'll be sharing with you what learning trays we have for my two and five year old. So these trays will obviously work for anybody between the ages of two and five and I am excited to get into those and show you what we have but first I want to say make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below for more homeschooling content just like this video. The like button lets me know that this is a type of video that you enjoy so I know what to make for you in the future. So if you do find these trays helpful for your homeschooling make sure you do hit that like button so that I know this is what you want to see in the future. Let's go ahead and look at what I have in the trays here behind me and also on the shelf over here. Okay, so to start up here, I always have paper for the girls on hand because they love to draw. So it's always a combination of construction paper, regular white printer paper, and usually some coloring pages, but it looks like I will need to put some more in there. But that's usually what's in here all the time. And then next down here, this is how I work on colors with Savannah. So Savannah is two years old and she understands colors. She can differentiate them, but she just has a lot of trouble verbally figuring out what color is which. So what I do is I'll create like a weekly color theme and it's just a bunch of random toys that I find and we'll just pull things out, play together and conversate about the color so that she can start to audibly figure out and let it click in her brain um, how to decide what color is called what basically. So that's how I use this. It's really conversational and we just focus on a, one specific color. And this here is a way to work on colors as well. So we would set this to orange and then we would go through all of the little pieces and try to find all the orange to match. So that's how we use that. So next on this shelf here, this is just to work on cutting. Um, so scissor skills, we're looking at working on fine motor, and I consider this to be a life skill as well. So basically, these are the two-year-olds, these are the five-year-olds, and I only drew lines on the two-year-olds because if she sees that I drew lines on her sisters but not hers, it could be a problem, but if she doesn't follow the lines to cut, that's fine. But Viviana, because she's older, the goal is for her to be able to go down each line and cut according to that line. Obviously, this is super easy to make. I can just make a new one every single day, and I just use scrap paper that they scribbled on. Also, you can save all the paper they cut up and use it for things like uh, gluing activities later, confetti, things like that. This one here is a really cool one. And this is by, I think the company is called The Learning Journey or something like that. But basically, uh, you have these boards here with the shapes. There are four of them that came in the box. And it also comes with the shapes to match. So what this has done greatly for Savannah, my two-year-old, is... Uh, before a game like this, she would just pick like any color that would fit and put it there. But because of all the specific colors, like there's one specific color and shape for each spot. And because of that, she has learned like the orange circle will go on the orange circle. So this has been a really great game that I highly recommend. Anything that I can link, I will try to link down below. Now this tray here is a math tray for my oldest. This is for the five-year-old. And obviously it's just mega blocks. And uh, if, it, if Savannah tries to play along with her, I usually just add a few more blocks. But basically I created these laminated math problems and there are plenty, plenty to go here. So like we never run out. And she can use a dry erase marker and build the math problems with the blocks and then write the answer on the card. So that's how we use this currently. Now down here, I may regret this later, we will see. But I just went to the dollar store and the Dollar Tree and I got two packs of the sand that they use for, it's like jar fillers or whatever it is. And I just created this little pan of sand. And basically, Viviana's learning right now, this is for language arts. And right now she is learning about consonant teams. So C-H-T-H. Q, U, C, K, all those kind of things are what we're working on. So I'll put the cards in here. I just don't have them in here right now. And say she's working on C, K, we will draw it and then we will sound it out, work on maybe some words that, that have C, K in them. So that is how we are using this. Once again, I might regret this depending on if this lasts more than a day before it's dumped in the ground. It may be smarter to go get um, a container with a lid for that. I might go ahead and switch that out. This here is because Savannah is two and working heavily on emotions. So the, this is fun. It's a Melissa and Doug brand. And you just create these little puzzles of facial expressions and clothes to go with them. But it's great because then we can conversate about emotions and it can also be helpful in like play therapy, things like that. So 
this is a really great little game and Savannah's highly interested in this. It was in the playroom, but because she loves it so much, I figured bring it down here for a little bit to be part of school. All right, now we're going to move over to the other shelf. Okay, so here we are at the other shelf and I don't have that many over here just because if you look around, there's plenty of things to grab. I don't know if you can see up here, you got puzzles and then up here, we have other things as well. So I didn't load this this area too heavy just because these are other things they can grab that aren't in trays. But I did put two items over here. The first one being this here. I was going to put this away, but the girls love it. It's kind of gross. I think it's time to buy some new ones and freshen it up, clean the cards. But basically, as you can see here, there are letters on the boards and they use these little foam balls in the back to um, create the S, create whatever letter it is. So they'll roll those out place them on here and then also there are some tiny little beads and things like that inside that they can decorate it with so this has been a hit and they never get bored of it and literally I was just about to switch it out but they showed they did not want me to do that so I kept it and the very last one here was down on the bottom and this is a really cool game by Steven Joseph is the brand what it is is it comes with these cards there are several levels inside obviously with my two-year-old I do the basic level and I help her out uh, which is blue and my oldest can do any of these and not really need help but basically you can see here that there are pictures and it is the kids job to let me see if i can show you let's just set it here so it's easy and not shaky because this is quite heavy actually so say we're doing this one she's going to find these pieces and create whatever it is that they want her to create so as you, as you can see here for an adult it's pretty simple but for kids ages H2, it is, um, it's super fun for H2, but obviously they will need help. Whoa. Um, for H2, it is super fun, but obviously they will need help. And then with my oldest, the five-year-old, she can pretty much do this on her own every now and then needing help when she's just not understanding something. So it's a really fun game to work on things like matching. It's also great for learning things like balance and how to pr proportionally put things up because obviously if she does this wrong, it's not going to work. So... This has been a really fun game and they could play this all day. And that is currently what we have on our shelf. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Once again, I hope you found it useful. I hope it helps you out with tray ideas for your own homeschooling. And if it did, make sure you hit the like button so I know to make more of these videos in the future about the trays to help you out. And don't forget to hit subscribe before you go so that you can see what we have going on on this channel in the future, all things homeschooling. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have fun homeschooling. I'll see you next time. Bye.